Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Market Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede and welcome to Impromptu Tuesday. In this video feature we're going to react to a video someone sent me and they told me it's very much cringy. I have to ensure that I don't eat before I watch this video because it might actually upset me. It involves a snail and an ufo. I was also told that it will shock me so much that I will ensure that I have no snails in my backyard garden. And I will see the importance of eradicating every snail, every type of snail from my backyard garden. Guys, of course, before we react to this video, don't forget to subscribe to our Backyard Backyard Garden. If you come across any view that you find interesting or somewhere related to agriculture, backyard garden, sustainability, climate change, recycling, or what conservation, any video you've seen that might be very interesting enough to share with Agus that I can react to it, send it to me in whatever way you can. Comment below, send it via WhatsApp number 1767-617-0224. Send it for Facebook page, send it for Instagram, wherever you can, just send it so that I can react to it. The Tuesdays for Impromptu Tuesday. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen there. Yeah? This is a snail. That's an earthworm. What kind of snail is that? First time I'm seeing that snail. What's it doing? It's going to attack the earthworm, is it? Oh! What? Yo! Jesus! Didn't you see that? A snail is a very slow animal, but that, that mouth, that mouthpiece of its own, that was quick! Oh, that is just so sad, man. But obviously, I don't think they can dig or go under the soil to do that. The chance of an earth foam being on the soil. Whoa! The chance of an earthworm being on the soil like that or on the surface for a snail to actually attack it like that is very slim. So I'm not wondering are they able to go under the soil to do that? To attack all earthworms? I mean that is... Oh, what? That is just so... That is so cruel man. That is something else. I've never seen or known that snail could actually attack like that. But as I said, I am now that I'm, now that I see the video, I don't think it's too much of a threat to backyard gardeners. I mean, the chance of a snail meeting a foam on the surface of the soil is very slim. I'd be more concerned if the snail is able to burrow through the soil, and they're very slow, so there's a chance that they might not be able to, because also the, their body is very sensitive to touch, so they might not be able to attack the foams in the soil. But still, that was very, very much shocking, as they all told me it would have been. Thank you very much for sending me this video that I could react to it. I mean, that's an eye opener right here. That's one of the slowest insects. And look at how quick it reacted to actually attack the earthworm. And it could just consume it in less than like 20 seconds. That's something else. Thank you guys for requesting that I react to this video. Thank you very much for subscribing to Agro Sweet Market Garden. Don't forget, guys, share the videos on your own personal social media. Don't forget, check out my other YouTube channel, which is called Juno Sweet Just a Commentary. If there's a video that you've seen on the internet, wherever you saw a video that's interesting, educational, a way to you you want me to know about it and you want me to actually spread the video out to other persons. Don't forget to leave a comment, send via files, Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, just send so that I could react to it on Impromptu Tuesday. Thank you very much, guys. Remember, a bucket garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agra Suede is out.